Hey, Daniel Miller here. So, uh, we've got something special going on this month, and so what I'm going to do is I'm showing you uh, in this uh, tutorial how to build another piece. Um, this is a uh, Kambamba, and um, this is a Jasper, comes out of Madagascar, and that. So uh, at the end of this, if you will go ahead and subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and that, uh, I'm going to pick uh, randomly one person at the end of the month of January to uh, go ahead and pick one of my pieces that I've made. So if you're interested in winning a free piece of jewelry and that, doesn't matter where you are in the world, we'll send it to you and that. Just go ahead and subscribe and give them a thumbs up and go ahead and comment uh, in our uh, uh, comment section below and I'm going to pick um, a winner at the end of the month. All right. Okay. See you guys soon and watch the video to see how to make this. Mm, bye. Hi, Daniel Miller here and we're going to make a, a design a piece using Kababa Jasper. That's a show of it. This is the stone that we're going to use. So let's follow along as we go ahead and design. Okay, so I've got my bale done and I'm just going to dip it in my solution. Stick it in here. Let's go ahead and get our torch. Burn some of that off, and then we're going to use hard solder. And let's do it again. Okay. Let's check it out now. We got it shut, so now we need to go ahead and put it in our acid bath. All right, now that we have it, we want to make sure that we get our ring formed around that, our bail, and see it fits nice and tight, and that's what we want. Okay, now we'll go ahead and cut our piece of sterling silver that we're going to go ahead and weld this onto. All right, we got our piece done. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and put our little logo thing on. And we'll also put the sterling silver. There. Now we have that. It's a little bit out of round, so now I'm going to take.
my hammer and pound that so I have it straight. There we go. Now I need to go ahead and clean it up before we weld the uh, piece on. Okay, now that we know we have it flat and positioned right, let's go ahead and take a bath in our handy flux. Okay, and same with the bezel. Put it on there. I want to make sure I have it straight. I don't want to knock any edges. And take some of that flux off. All right, we're ready to go. And this time. Now we'll go ahead and put it in our pickle solution, clean it up, and then continue from here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and trim some of those corners off. And that we're gonna use our little saw here. At the back end. And let's go ahead and go. Okay, so I put a little leg right out here, so we're going to put some accent balls on that. But we've got to go ahead and file that down and get that looking good. All right, let's go ahead and take care of that now. Okay, we're going to take the file and file these edges down more.
take the burrs off the back end. to go ahead and put the bale on. We'll clean that up a little more. Okay, I have uh, got my bale there and we're going to go ahead and heat this thing up and solder it in. Let's see how we did. couple of accents we made quite a few of them here so one there try to get the bottom of it It's about ready to fall off. All right, now we're going to go ahead and use our 3M bristles and let's clean this thing up. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and set our stone. Do 
good. My dirty hands. Right there. Clean that off. There's our finished piece right there. Kabamba.